so today for the Checkout API blog, uh, in, um, uh, I, I was lucky at a Google Developer Day in Paris uh, to meet with uh, Evgeny Tarasov, uh, who the Checkout developer, uh, he's Russian and he's based in France, and uh, we're going to interview him for the Checkout API blog. So hello Evgeny, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. Patrick, uh, so I, I live in France, I'm uh, in Russia, I'm from Russia, I'm Russian, and uh, I, I work in a small company uh, based in France, uh, Tete Solution, Tete Solutions. Uh, it's a really small company. We had, well, once we had a contract um, to deal with, uh, with some sort of uh, online business. Uh, uh, for the goods. Well, uh, so there were two choices, PayPal or Google Checkout, so we had to write a simple wrapper uh, well, for the API to, to, deal, to deal with it in Python. And uh, as a result, we well, have created a small library in Python for dealing with uh, Google Checkout because, well, because PayPal was um, is uh, more world uh, widespread, but uh, Google Checkout uh, has a much nicer, nice, nicer API. Thank so, you. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> well, additionally, uh, well, plus a uh, lot, uh, uh, So we we choose uh, we have chosen Google Checkout, and uh, well, we have a little tiny library that drops uh, all this um, XML API um, in the Python code. It's really simple. It uses uh, pro I, don't, I don't even know how how you call proto classes, the classes uh, that uh, are responsible for creating another classes in Python. And there it's uh, it's a feature introduced in Python 2.4. Uh, so it makes the code really uh, easy to read and uh, well easy to track to follow it and stuff. So all the API API described in terms of classes with fields, well, the stuff, the sort of the things uh, used for ORM in Django. So the same uh, type of code we use for de describing classes in ORM. Excellent. So does your application uh, uses Django? Uh, no. Well, it's it's a library. It doesn't use Django, but there is a simple example for Django. For Django that uses this library to yeah. completely abstract from uh, uh, Google Checkout API, APIs and uh, well, XML validation made by this library well, it's not 100% uh, complex, but well, I hope it will be so if, if uh, there is interest in from the Google side uh, to, well, to support this uh, library or make, well, we can just invest more, more time in it and to complete it to, to, to propose uh, more examples. Oh stuff. yes, if the, if the library is open source, yeah, uh, it's, it's open yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, help with pleasure. Yeah. It's, it, well, it's going to be free, so... Uh, well, cool, just uh, send us the URL on uh, code.google.com yeah, hosting. Oops. <laughs> and um, another question, what's... Um, what what was easy in Google Checkout? What, what did you like in the API? Well, API is much simpler than the corresponding version. I, I, I'm now I'm talking about level two integration, not yes. about the just simple card being posted to, to the server. Uh, so level two integration is much easier because uh, it's not so, it's much uh, simpler. The documentation is really, really great uh, well, compared to the, uh, the one on PayPal. Uh, that one? Yeah. So, well, and uh, in my opinion, uh, the uh, sandbox is much uh, human friendly because you don't have well, time loss. But it's really easy to get lost in the, uh, all the PayPal website after five minutes, but when you check out it's a couple of uh, important pages, you, you can consult and you have everything to the, the diagrams. So. so, what could be made better in the API? Uh, well, uh, some aspects like uh, maybe this uh, diagram. Or, well, currently Google Checkout is uh, heavily asynchronous, so you have a really huge number of requests from the server and from the client, and it's not really easy to understand uh, well, the dependencies. So probably uh, it would be made easier by making the uh, uh, well maybe. Uh, 
proposing uh, the interface for clearing the uh, basket status and so on and stuff. So, uh, so instead of notifications, you'd like to be able to get the notifications yeah, from the server, polling instead of uh, yeah, exactly. being pushed to? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. So it's, it will be much easier to program to the dark and... and uh, well, that, that's a feedback we got a lot. Mm, yeah, we told them. Very good. Uh, any other things that we could improve in the API? Uh, well, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, well, you, you just, you probably, a system for testing, uh, some, um, some system for automatically uh, testing the uh, user code would be much appreciated, because now we have to create baskets to submit them manually, so... Help is on the way! So there's this project called Mendoza that uh, we are going to open source. We announced it at Java One, and uh, um, within the month of June, uh, you'll be able to find the code for it. And it it, it really automates end to end the testing of a uh, checkout integration. Oh, great! Thanks very much. It was uh, no, I was really pleased to meet a checkout developer in France, and uh, who's Russian? <laughs> yeah, who's Russian in addition. <laughs> So, oh yeah, a really huge point to improve is like the coverage. So it's, if it could be made five, made five functional in, in Europe and then in Russia, that would be really great. Yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, th thanks very much, Evgeny. Thanks. My pleasure.